Well, good morning. It is February 14th today. Valentine's Day. I have been a little missing in action lately. I've been under the weather a little bit, so I haven't really felt much like doing a video. So I thought I'd do one today. It is 7 a.m. in the morning, 21 degrees. I'm just on my way now towards Heber City, headed up that way. Looks like it's uh, going to be a beautiful morning, so come along and go for a ride with me for a little while. Just going through downtown Heber right now. Just coming up on Jordan L here. Uh, boy, that's it's filling up. Just came past Deer Creek, and they're they're filling up pretty good. They are looking pretty good at the moment, anyway. Still some little ice out here on this one. Well, just headed eastbound now on 80. We'll take this for a while. Kind of see the sunrise a little bit over there on the right. up on Echo Reservoir right now. It's still down pretty low. Still a lot of ice on it. We'll just head down 84 now, down Weber Canyon, head down through there. halfway down on the mountains with a little touch of snow on them. Look kind of pretty this morning. When I first got this truck, it had the adaptive cruise control on it, which I wasn't a big fan of when I first got it. I just didn't like it. And 
once I got used to it, I really like it. Here's the example. I got this truck up here in front of me, and I can go faster than he's going, but I don't really need to or want to. And so, like right now, I've got my crew set at 70 miles an hour, and I'm going 64, and it just keeps me a nice, safe distance behind him without having to adjust the cruise control man manually. So I've kind of turned into a fan of them. I think they have a good purpose, and it's a good safety feature in my opinion. Well, just coming out of Weber Canyon right now, the river over there in the center, can't really see it now. The flowing, still got some ice on it, looked pretty. Now we'll just head towards I-15 northbound. Flashing light right here up on the right. See what's going on there. Oh, there's a car way off down there. Went through the fence and down into the trees. Well, just going to attempt to get merged over here on the I-15. Well, just getting ready to exit off I-15 headed towards Perry, then up Sardine Canyon. Well, it looks like the DOT over here on the left Got two for the price of one coming off that hill. And another one right there. I have a feeling that guy probably just blew the brake check station up here. You see him do that quite often. Well, just pulling up the hill now through Sardine, up towards the uh, state sheds. dropping down into Dry Lake. And now dropping down into Sherwood Hills. Guess that's not what it's called anymore. I think it's called Utah Recovery or something. And just 
coming into the valley right now. A little hazy it looks like. Well, I am just on 10th West right now, uh, headed to ASG Warehouse that is on 10th North, but they have 10th North shut down right now for a minute, or for a while, I guess, and so I've got to turn here on 8th North and go up this way. And this is the building I want over here on the left. We'll circle around back of it and we'll be there. And here we are. We have arrived. Well, we got here, got this trailer backed in. We'll get it dropped and move on to the next project. So I'll probably just wrap this video up right here. So thanks for riding along and thanks for watching. And until next time, We'll just catch you a little later down the road.